Okay, another short video in this ongoing series of videos. Um, all right, so the uh, complaint about this vacuum was, or the concern was, the check brush light was on. And what they're talking about is, as you can see right here, the check brush light is on, and that is a red light. Um, every vacuum is going to have a red and green light. They probably won't be marked as such, uh, but they will have a red and green light. In this case, the red light turned on, and that means you should check your brush. So let's try it here. Okay, so you can see the red light is on. It's just gliding back and forth. You can kind of tell that the brushes or the bristles of the brush are not really touching the floor. So what we're going to do now is change the brush and see if that makes a difference. So um, when you send a vacuum in that needs to have a brush changed, we'll actually change the brush. We wouldn't expect you guys to replace the brush, but what should happen is exactly what happened with this and someone was aware of the fact that uh, the brush needed to be changed so not all vacuums are created alike equal uh, this one's a really easy one to replace the brush so we're replacing the brush it's just that easy on this vacuum so we're going to take it back in and see if that made a difference. Okay. Look, no red light. And as I'm using the vacuum, it almost wants to, to be self-propelled, um, which to me means that the bristles of the brush are actually touching the carpet and doing what they should do. So, uh, There you go. That is actually part one of this video. Being aware of your brush and uh, knowing when to send it in. Uh, part two of this video is going to be how to and how not to roll up a vacuum cord. There is a proper and an improper way of doing this. So the improper way, and I've done it, I'm sure everyone else has done it, is like this okay so what's so bad about this well as you get to the end you'll notice that the cord wants to it wants to do this little twist action here this one isn't so severe but in time if this continues you will eventually get a cord that looks like, I didn't have my prop ready, stand by. Your cord will look much like this. And I'm sure you've all seen this type of a cord before. So the problem with this, if your cord starts to look like this, there's these peaks and valleys. And as these valleys, are rubbing against the floor over and over and over again as you're vacuuming, a hole will be worn in the orange insulation here, and eventually you'll get down to bare copper wire. And that is bad, reason being is because there's electricity surging through that copper wire. And that's dangerous, and that's a problem. So, that's some poor planning. Hey Clayton, that's some poor planning on my part. Uh, as far as the props go. But anyway, the proper way is to start rolling the cord from the machine. That will let any twisting of the cord relieve itself out at the end of the cord. And this is actually a good example because I'm starting this little rat's nest right here right now. But as I do this, that rat's, rat's nest will work itself out and you'll have a nice, straight, untwisted vacuum cord.